Hi there, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. Very excited today to be able to show you a new library um, which we've produced in collaboration with our friend Samuel Sim. Um, Sam, you'll probably know uh, best from his the music for the show Home Fires um, um, and his kind of fantastic score for that and beautiful um, opening music that he did with Synergy Vocals. Sam is a harpist and has uh, created an amazing library with all kinds of really unique and interesting sounds in um, and it's called Chrysalis. So I'm going to walk you through all of the different sections of the library um, and we'll start with what we're calling the initial pupae which is the basic um, recordings of the studio harp um, different techniques and this is the kind of um, the kind of really core material the kind of basic stuff um, it opens up with the condenser mics so you can hear a very very um, lovely classic sound if we go through all the different mics now uh, we've got a, a kind of what we're calling our inside um, mics which are really really close um, omnis in the in the soundboard so that's got a great sound we've got next up our ribbon mics just for comparison we'll go back to the condensers Very different character there. We've got a uh, mono ribbon, kind of a slightly bitier, uh, close to the fingers sound. We've got our room mics. Just to give you a bit of air around the sound. And then finally we've got a dirty mono. So between all of these mics, you can really kind of um, get exactly the kind of character that you want. So if we put up, um, let's put up a little selection. So you get the idea. Um, and now let's have a look at the different kind of techniques. So we'll go, we'll actually start with the glisses. So these are not your kind of traditional glisses, but they're kind of spread glisses. Uh, so octaves, like this, uh, slow versions down here, or rather not slow, but shorter versions, and then the longer up at the uh, higher end. So those are lovely and very useful as well. Um, we've got our bowed longs. Really lovely stuff. We've got our damped longs. And again, just to uh, kind of listen with different mics. really lovely stuff. We've got our octave trams. So fabulous as well. And then we've got our same note trams. Finally, super quiet. So that's incredibly useful as well. So that's the um, basic kind of, almost like you imagine the raw material of the library. Now, um, in the Nympha Pedals section, um, we've basically got a bunch of performances, which is Sam with his kind of uh, fantastic kind of pedal board collection, um, using 
the pedals and performing to the pedals. So um, if we go in just at the top here, you'll see that this is in our Mercury synth engine. So you've got access to a ton of really useful different sounds here. And you'll also notice that we've got four uh, kind of feeds into here. One and two are um, two kind of uh, different mono feeds from the pedals. And then three and four are the kind of pure harp feeds and these will be stereo. Um, if I, I'll give you a quick example. So let's have a quick listen through um, signal one, first of all. So that's the first signal chain. This is the second one. And then if we go to the... So you can hear you've still got the... All of these signals are going through the processing of the Mercury engine. So you've got that slight chorus sound on the even on the pure signal. So going back in, so if we kind of get a nice balance between, say, these three. So you can hear that this blending of the signal, the signals through the pedals and the kind of um, the, the really nice kind of direct or you know mic'd up sound of the harp is kind of where um, the real essence of this library is and where the kind of magic is. If we go into uh, the bloom pad for example, so check out this is just the first signal from the pedals. So it's a lovely sound. If, let's put in our direct signal, or one of them. So now you've got those, you've got that kind of lovely blend. Um, and if we just switch these around a little bit. So you, you see the we're getting the kind of attack from the direct signal from the harp and then the beautiful length. And this is Sam's kind of, um, you know, brief um, for us all when we were creating the library um, was that he wanted to be able to get something that had the nice attack of the harp and the, that kind of beautiful kind of really human plucked sound, but then had a length to it that the sounds would continue um, and, and so this it's that kind of combination that really is the kind of magic of this. So let's have a flick through some of the other sounds. And again, if we put in kind of nice blend of different signals. We can pull the twinkly element right down. So you get the idea. It's it, we're utilizing all of the kind of um, processing power over all of the signals, but creating something which has that blend of natural and affected. Lovely Ebo sounds. And again, these are, as I said, these are performed to the sound of the pedals. Very, very inspiring. And again, you can literally just use them as the, you can use them without the harp. You know, you can kind of blend it in there. And the 
let's just check out a couple more of these. And again with the harping. stuff and let's just do the trim scrapes and putting in one of the harp signals as well really lovely stuff so let's move on looking at the next section of the library metamorphosis warps so with these, with these ones, we've got a TREMS and a PLUCK version of each patch. So I'm going to show you, first of all, the TREMS version of the 007. And one is the pure sound and two is the affected sound. So pure sound here. And then we've gone for a um, curated affected sound here. And so... If we listen to the plucked version of the sound, and going for just the pure, and with both, So you get the idea, and let's just have a listen to a few of these with uh, with both signals in. Lovely stuff. really beautiful and then we check out the trems version of this one with the oops, with the uh, pure signal lovely stuff let's keep checking out a few more sounds Now, listen to this with the real harp in. In fact, if we pull down the um, warp signal slightly. <laughs> Fabulously crazy. Um, crisp attack. Let's put both signals in. Crystal rain. It's great stuff. So again, you can pull that right down. You can use that as just a little color behind the main harp sound. So it's incredibly useful, incredibly um, versatile. And again, I haven't even touched any of these controls yet, so you can really 
you know, kind of turn this into exactly the sound that you want, really sculpt it to be a, a you know, a very unique sound. <laughs> Great stuff, gentle drops. And then finally, swelling tail from this section. Actually, just one more <laughs> tumbleweeds. So some really awesome stuff in there. Um, if we go into the cocoon ace, um, and this one, we are going to a kind of more extreme, a more kind of liquid sound. the original roar. And you can, uh, you know, as I mentioned before, you can change the kind of, the kind of blend here. And with the attack of the harp. Let's go for a trem sound, ceramic plate spin, put it in the original. And again, the um, other thing which I may, may not have mentioned yet is that obviously the raw organic sound is very, very um, reactive to velocity. So you can really kind of, within your playing, you can really get a, a very interesting kind of note by note blend. So very, very um, interesting sounds. Disillusioned choir. Let's look for a plucked sound.
Okay, one more. So as you can hear, uh, it's a ton of really inspiring stuff in here. Um, and, you know, just going back to the original raw material and looking at the, the harp here. It's beautiful. Very, very lovely. So you've got um, a load of great stuff in here. You've got your original studio harp. Um, with all the kind of different techniques and really interesting stuff in there. You've got um, three different stages of kind of warps and performance warps through the pedal system and then um, stuff where we've taken those things and the raw recordings and gone, in, gone off on a kind of sound design journey with Sam and created these really interesting kind of combinations of sound. So, so the key thing of the library is really this um, really inspiring collection of sounds and sound design based on the organic sound of the studio harp. Um, and then with the combination of the two, with the combination of the kind of, uh, you know, attack and front end of the actual um, raw performed harp signal, um, with the kind of sound design length that you get from all of these really interesting kind of sounds that have been put through pedals and then kind of warped um, using a variety of different outboard gear. Really fantastic library. Hope you've enjoyed watching that. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye bye.